waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Well, the globalists have created a fraudulent economy where they can pick the winners and the losers and can insider trade in every economy, every market, and shut down their competition. It's unbelievable. But fraud destroys overall productivity and wealth, and they can't paper over it forever. They're going to try to paper it over it with secret police, black uniforms, armored vehicles, drones. Um, it's just not going to work. And I suggest the path of prosperity and renaissance. Let's go to your phone calls ahead of uh, Gerald Salente joining us. I appreciate Jonathan and Georgia holding. Jonathan, you're on the air worldwide. Then Joseph, Reese, and others. Hey, Alex. How are you doing? Good, sir. Thank you for calling. Good. Um, well, a couple things I wanted to say. One uh, was something that you mentioned earlier about how the older generations just did everything. And I just, uh, my grandfather died five years ago from Alzheimer's, and he was one of those guys that you couldn't list on three pages of notebook paper all the things that he was a master of. Um, and Yeah, they didn't watch television unless it was once a week to watch a ball game. They did things, and they liked to work. And, and work hard and work to, the, to be the best. And so, yeah, that's, that's absolutely. And they enjoyed um, working. Enjoyed it so much that they would, and he tried to teach me so many things. And I, I did take some from, from what he gave me, but I, I look at myself now and I, I, you know, I just look at, and then I can yeah, As bad it, as like, modern, wow. good old boy, gun owning libertarians are, black, white, old, young, I don't care. Compared to what our, our forebears were, were jellyfish. And then us compared to yuppies and trendies. Well, I mean, yeah. we, we are like our grandfathers to us, to the trendies. You understand that? I mean, the trendies literally do not know what planet they're on. Alex, it's, it's good to take vaccines and drink <sighs> fluoridated water. I mean, it's just, you're crazy. I can laugh at you. It gives me power. Oh, 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 oh. Global warming's real, dummy. You've been discredited with no just the word discredited. You've been discredited. Yeah. yeah it's just like, oh, really? You're intellectual giants. They're morons. Go ahead. Yeah, well, because well, because they wear different colored socks and the handlebar mustache. I guess that's that says it all. Plus their tattoos that are just so cool. Look at me. <laughs> well, I mean, I you know, I, I'm not against people they want to have a beard or a mustache or tattoos or whatever. Because there's some of the really cool and our listeners are like that. The point is we all know the type that are Big government supporters, and they think they're so cool because they're conforming to what's on television. You're a total chump. You're a t Be yourself, you moron. But they've been raised since birth watching TV, so they don't have a self. Do you understand that? They think it's weird, okay, that, that we've got testosterone and that we like women and that we like fast cars. And, and, then, and then, I mean, they, we are the weirdos of them. You understand that? They call us gorillas. Yeah. You know, um, <clears throat> well, one thing, I, a real quick, uh, you know, obviously not a paid plug, but uh, the nation iodine is uh, unbelievable. It, it really does supercharge you. Um, and I'm, I'm It's no joke. We only, that's why we only got three products. Uh, we have one food product, the coffee that's so good at InfoWarsLife.com. But we only have three products now in like six, eight months because we just keep battling and battling and battling to try to get the very best. And we just, it's, it's, it's almost impossible to get totally pure, totally clean, organic and put out everything we want to. It's just, and so I may just be honest when we come up with stuff and say, this is the cleanest we can find. Anybody that says they're clean, cleaner than us, is, and I'm not in competition, it's just they're full of it. I mean, it, it, is, it, is, it is really hard in this world to bring people stuff that's not contaminated. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, just uh, real quick, and then I'll let you get to someone else, mm -hmm. but uh, just a, a modicum of, of criticism is, uh, you know, every time you bring up uh, the devil or God, and, and then you always kind of, uh, justify it with, well, even if it doesn't exist, and you believe that it exists. I know you do because I've listened to you long oh, enough. Oh, I don't, I don't believe it. I know it, buddy. Well, well, then, okay, well, then stop. Oh, here it comes, the crystal vision. Keep my vision well, to I mean, myself. 
Yeah, well, I would just stop placating to the people that don't. I mean, because half the stuff you've said over the course of your 18 years, people didn't believe. No, no, you, you, listen, you're true, missing so. what I'm saying, but I think it's important that I quantify it. As we go to Gerald Salente, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain where I stand on the other side. Stay with us. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Defending the Republic from enemies, foreign and domestic, it's Alex Jones. Is that not the prettiest saxophone ever? That's the beauty of humanity right there. That's demanding higher quality. That's, that's supporting what's beautiful. The CIA, it's now been declassified, we already knew this, put out ugly art, ugly music, on purpose to screw up the world so people couldn't differentiate good from evil. That was declassified last year. And you can put out whatever ugliness you want, but on average, people resonate with what's beautiful. They wanted us to see no difference between something ugly and something beautiful. That's what Gerald Salente talks about. You start by dressing nice, having respect for yourself, Turning off your television more, talking to your neighbors, buying local. He's going to cover the waterfront with us on war and the economy and this 1929 chart. The Wall Street Journal's reporting on so much. But I don't do pre-interviews with folks like Gerald Salente. I'll just, I'm going to ask him in a moment what he wants to cover first. We had a caller earlier. And I'm going to just spend a few minutes on this and go to Gerald, the last caller. And he said, look, I got, I got a beef. You talk about how the elite are into the occult, how the elite are into Satanism because it's all about them and dominating others and pure power. 
But then you say, even if there isn't a devil or a god, humans in this archetype, a.k.a. Joseph Cam Campbell, a.k.a. Carl Jung, the psychology, are manifesting it, and, and, and cultures manifest the same tyrannies over and over again. You have the rise of Greece, city-states, and then decline, same decadence. The rise of the Roman Republic, incredible moral science, you know, honorable people become corrupt, degenerate again, and collapse. The same cycle. And they always get into the same behavior. Aztecs, uh, Mayans, uh, African tribes, human sacrifice, dominance, serial killer type sadists get in control and set up systems where people submit to them. And the whole world becomes a system based on the likes and dislikes and the palate, uh, the, the taste uh, of, of the worst people in society. All that evil men and tyrants need to flourish is that good men and women do nothing. So I am a Christian, raised a Christian, and I believe in the teachings of Christ, and I personally have had spiritual experiences that are private. And, but I don't put people down who don't believe it or who question it because of the corrupt churches and the whole system. I don't judge them as bad as the state-run religion is in this country across the board. Not just Christianity, they've, they've infiltrated all the groups, the Muslims, the Hindus, the, the atheists have kind of become the democratic type, a government worshiping group. We've had famous atheists on who actually agree with that, like Stefan Molyneux, he says, no, it's true. They just get rid of God and then worship the state. That's why you say, you have God-given rights because that's above the state. So if, if you don't believe in God, but in a system of God-given rights, you're a humanist, you are on top, not the state. So my issue is the system wants to get rid of the real teachings of Christ. I believe in God. I know it's real. But I don't get mad at Jesse Ventura, who's my friend, who doesn't believe in it. I don't get mad at, 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 at people. So all I'm saying is whether you believe in the devil or not, there is human destructive parasitic enslavement systems going into place that we should morally say are wrong. Well, they tell you in psychology, there is no right and wrong, there is no morals, but do what we say or you're racist. <coughs> Turn your guns in or you're, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's all guilting. They just don't want you to have a moral compass that you set so they can set yours for you. That's what I'm saying. So that's the issue. I'm an inclusive broadcast here. And I don't judge people that believe in uh, other, uh, other things. I believe enough in my thoughts and in what I'm trying to put out that I believe it's going to lead people more to my point of view, but I'm not going to beat them over the head with it. Some of the most corrupt, out of control people are these churches and these clergy response teams and these, and these, and these systems. It's all a bunch of Pharisees, just like in Christ's time, up on the hill saying, I pray in public, I'm good, everybody else is bad. That's, that would make me an atheist looking at those people. But I know that God will say, I didn't know you. And you can call it, you know... What, what, um, we're going to Joel Salente. You can, Martin Luther King talked about the universe bends towards justice. Whatever, there is justice, there is right and wrong. I know you got so much, Gerald, and I appreciate you coming on uh, when you already came on just a few weeks ago, but, but back by popular demand, trendsresearch.com, trendsjournal.com. And I want to get into all the latest trends. Things are really moving quick. We appreciate the update. But you just heard this topic I introduced, kind of a curveball here. What is your view on what I just said? I, I agree with you 100%. You believe what you believe in. You don't tell anybody else what they should believe in. And you, uh, and you live by it. And that's really all it's about. And uh, the people that proselytize, you know, that's their own trip. And they shouldn't throw it on anybody else. And it's, you know, only speaking for myself, because you know the motto of the Trends Journal, think for yourself. And my, my definition of, of hell is taking that last breath and knowing that you lied to yourself and you weren't the person who you said you were or could have been. And when all of these people talk about, you know, the politicians particularly, what will their legacy be? How will history judge them? History doesn't judge you, you judge yourself. What's your legacy? Ask your soul, who could care less? Are you proud of what you've done? Gerald, I know you, you coined that statement you say when you come on the show. Repeat that again, because I think that is a great profound description of life and sums up what all honorable men and women believe in, is that I make mistakes in the passion, I'm not perfect, 
I'm huh. a role, but, but in the final equation, I really want people to succeed. I want to be good. I want to leave the world a better place than I came in I, it, it, because of my ancestors. So many of them were so honorable. It's about your family name. It's about class. Go ahead. Well, you know, it's interesting you say that. You know, every morning I meditate.